Okay, so I did a, a video like last year about a travel PA and we were just talking about, you know, what it's like to be a travel PA and is is it even a thing? Um, and so I introduced you guys to locum tenants if you didn't know about it, but uh, I had a question that was asked and it was asking kind of a similar question to being a travel PA, um, but essentially wanting to know kind of what do we have time to do, okay? <laughs> In your PA life as you're working, like, do you even have time to travel? So that is what we're gonna be getting into in this video. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So I had a question posed by Jalen Jackson and says, hey, thanks for the video. I never found information online and this is giving me the motivation I needed. I was wondering what if I really enjoy my staff job but want to travel often. Do PAs get the time off to do those such things or is it better to just become a traveling PA rather than take the risk of not doing what I really, what I enjoy? Thanks, Jalen. All right, so thank you so much for this question. And honestly, like it comes right at like a really good time because that is kind of the space that I'm in right now. So uh, I first wanna apologize to you guys because I haven't put out like my second video in the past couple weeks in terms of my um, live sessions because I've been working a lot of extra shifts. Now, with that being said, I'm going to like make some concessions. So tomorrow I will be doing a live because I'll be working I'll pick up another shift on Tuesday so I'll do a live tomorrow and then I will do a live again on Wednesday night Wednesday night maybe Thursday night uh, but just you know stay tuned to the channel so go ahead and subscribe and uh, and and hit the notification bell so you can know exactly when a new video is coming out but it will be on one of those days just because I've been doing a lot more and so with that being said, Jalen, like to answer your question, yes, you know, PAs do have the time to do that, but it all depends on your schedule. And so now I've told you guys before, like there are various different types of PA schedules and just schedules in general in the healthcare space. So you can work 312s, you can work 410s, you can work 58s, you can work 324s in a 14 day period. You can work 424s in a 14 day period. Um, you can work a nine to five. Uh, so it's really up to you. There are lots of options, but the ones that lend the most to travel are like your 312s, your your 324s, your 424s. And I mean, you know, if you're just doing like a little weekend trip here and there, then you know your four eights might work as well. Now for me, I do 324s for the most part. Sometimes I'll pick up an extra shift like I've been doing um, or an extra two shifts, but I still have like seven days off or six days off like in a long stretch um, where I might work like a Sunday and then a Tuesday and a Thursday if I want to work a back to back to back. And then I don't come back to work until like the following, not this, the upcoming Sunday, but the Sunday after that. Um, or you can spread it out and I work Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, and then I get that whole week off and then I'll come back again until the Sunday. So it works out really well for me right now. Um, and it worked out really well when, you know, COVID had hit hard because I was homeschooling my kids. And so I needed to be there to actually like teach them. So I would work Sundays and Thursdays and I would have pretty much all week to do like homeschool with my children. Um, and then we'd also just take random trips because they're being homeschooled so I can teach them anywhere. And if I'm off for like <laughs> days on hand and my husband works from home, like it just worked out really well. So yes, you absolutely can do that. It's all a matter of you finding what works for you. So like right now I'm about to go on like a little mini vacation for the next two weeks. Um, and I'm excited about it. And I'm working a couple extra shifts as well because I'm gonna be planning another vacation in April. Um, and I plan on going somewhere in June and in July and August. So this is like, you know, I, I want, I'm, I want to live my best life. You know, I worked hard. I went to school. I studied a lot. I spent a lot of money um, to live this life, right? To be able to enjoy traveling, enjoy experiencing new things, but at the same time, still loving what I do as a PA, um, and helping people in some of their toughest moments as a trauma PA. So yes, you absolutely can do it. Um, again, just find what shift work 
works best for you. Um, I think it's, you know, like these 24 hour shifts are kind of few and far between. So even if you can do like three 12s, that will work as well. I think that will give you enough time to kind of have like mini staycations or, you know, a longer weekend um, where you can travel and visit friends and visit other countries and, you know, do your thing. All right, so I hope this answered your question. If you have any other questions for me, you already know what to do. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Um, join me on tomorrow uh, and then again on Wednesday or Tuesday for a live and I will be talking about one of the schools that you asked me to review and I'll keep you posted on if I change the date um, but I will make videos I put videos out typically every Sunday and Tuesday okay so join me back um, you can always subscribe and like this video um, follow me on Instagram and on the PA and on Instagram and get that C University thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time